Let's go get him again. This one right here, just a solid gentlemanly scent. Period. Fragrance family, welcome to the Robozoi channel. I'm your host, Mark. This series of Pop the Cherries, where I pop the cork on a full bottle purchase and give you my initial thoughts. I wore this scent on my skin as my scent of the day for a few days, including today. Now it's time to give you my thoughts before it goes into the vault for a full-fledged review. So let me introduce to you Milano Sento Him EDP from the house of Milano Sento. Now let's go under the hood on this release. Let's take a look at some stats on this one. Release date was back in 2019. The major notes to my nose would have to be lavender, clove, and rosemary. Now it's time to crack this one open. Again, dry downs here. Introduction right here. So let's remind me of the introduction of this one. And in my unboxing, I basically said, um, this is a fragrance that is very classic and back to the roots of an old school gentleman release and i'm not wrong on the unboxing this introduction brings me to the 80s it's just a classic barbershop appeal it introduces a beautiful sharp uh, citrus lemon a little bit of bergamot here so a nice citrusy combo up top with a backing of herbal touches of rosemary uh, we got some lavender here and some basil and clary sage there's a pinch of spicy kick from the clove and the cinnamon combo up, up top i did say in the unboxing this is chanel's egoist meets uh, rive gauche from ysl but never really going much into either direction. If I had to pull one, I would have to say it's more of a Rive Gauche than a, uh, of course, an Egoist. Overall, uh, like I said in the unboxing, very good blend, um, very interesting uh, up top. And it just, these classic releases, these classic fragrances, they're a dying breed. And it's nice to see that there's a, a uh, a well-constructed one uh, still available to this day. So now let's get into the dry down of Milano Santo EDP. And the thing about the scent is, like I said uh, earlier, is all about its blending. It's on point as the barbershop appeal meets that cinnamon clove and sandalwood combo now in the backdrop. So we got a little bit more sandalwood here. At times it felt like a really excellent blend of two different scents. Um, you lose the citrus here as they burn off quite qu quickly. You lose some of that sparkle that the opening had. I'm, I'm really intrigued to see if the Eau de Toilette version, the old school uh, version that was released in 2016 that was replicating, of course, the one back in the 80s, uh, to see if it had more citruses because this one lost that sparkle up top. It gets a little thicker here. Overall, there's not much movement here. A very linear, almost a two-step fragrance, to be quite honest. It has that opening with the citrus, and it just introduces everything. You lose the citrus, and then it's more. Um, it introduces a little bit of sandalwood in the back end, but other than that, the spices are still there. The herbal kicks are still there. Um, very linear. Overall, blend is king here. And if you miss the old-school scents of the 80s, this might be one of your holy grail. And you're going to see a lot of positive reviews on YouTube on this release uh towards the reviewers that are a little older on youtube uh because they they missed those old school releases and this one i'll tell you um it fills that void now let's get into the revolver where we talk about seasons day night versatility and performance let's start with seasons this thing's a tweener fall and spring um is the best seasons for it i could see you wearing this year round signature scent worthy but I feel fall and spring would be the best seasons for day or night. I would have to say this is more a daily wear scent um, during the day, more of a signature scent or release. Versatility, um, I think it would be fairly high for the right person. The person that enjoys wearing this, I think they're going to wear it a lot. Um, and it's really just a crapshoot of what type of fragrance you actually like. Performance. 
Um, this is a, a big one, uh, obviously in the unboxing, I wasn't talking about performance. I wore it for a few days now. My performance on this one was actually quite good, six to eight hours, so nothing crazy, but average. And projection was fairly heavy on this one, which is fairly surprising. These type of scents really don't push much. I felt like this one actually pushed a little bit more than um, some others in the same category. So that's a plus for it. So my final thoughts on Milano Cento Him EDP. Um, it's catering to the older generation here with this release. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, I'm not quite there as having something like this as a signature for me. Um, and reaching out for these type of fragrances for me right now, my journey, they're very far and few between. Um, I do enjoy wearing scents that this is compared to, that I compared to in this review, like uh, Chanel's Egoist. I wear it from time to time, and it'll hit a top 20 list from time to time. And Rive Gauche, same thing, but I don't continuously crave those releases. It's just a uh, once in a while type of fragrance, and this is where this one's gonna come in. Uh, there aren't, they're not heavy hitters uh, for me in my rotation, so I gotta be honest, um, they're just a, uh, from time to time type of wares and this is where this is going to fit in for me as for the fragrance itself it's well done well blended it's nothing new in the game no um, all it's going to do is going to replace a lot of things that continuously is starting to get scarce getting discontinued hard to find and if that's what you're looking for this may be your answer so now i'm done with milano santo him edp Time for you guys. Hit me up in the comments below. What do you think about this release? What do you think about this brand? And do you think this is around your age range or not? Um, I'd love to see uh, what you guys think in the comments below. Looking forward to reading those comments. As always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. <laughs> Choose your classic release wisely. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a good one.